Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Heidi and I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Today I'm gonna try out some new makeup. All of it is affordable, most of it is drugstore makeup and some of it is a little bit newer. Some of it has been out for a while but I just haven't tried it yet so this is going to be kind of like a first impressions type of video. I think I'm gonna use some color today and do a glam makeup look with lashes and everything. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy then please keep on watching and give this video a thumbs up and let's just get started. So I put all the things that I haven't tried yet into this little bag and I'm just gonna show you in the beginning of this video just so you know what's you know coming later what I'm gonna try. So I have a pair of lashes I haven't tried yet. This is the Ardell Texturize 575 lashes. Super, super pretty. I bought this e.l.f. Mint Melt Face Primer. Then I have two liquid blushes from Flower Beauty, which I have been wanting to try forever. So I'm so excited for these two. And I finally got my hands on the e.l.f. Put a Bronzer. I don't have any cream bronzer is at the moment so I'm so excited for this I really hope it's as good as the blush I really like the blush I have the revolution translucent baking powder this seems to be very popular and it has like close to five stars on super drugs website as well then I have the elf expert liquid liner this one I got for free from super drug because I bought these two elf products I've had the precision liquid liner from elf before the consistency of that liner was just like too runny so I didn't like that one but we'll see how this one works today then I got this NYX lip pencil in nude pink this is the peaches and cream eyeshadow primer and this is the newer version which just came out from peaches and cream I also got this hold the line lip liner set it has five nude lip liners inside so i am so excited to like swatch all of these and try them out i have not tried anything from peaches and cream before and it is a liverpool based brand so i actually went into the store which is so pretty by the way and i'm just really really excited for these too and the rest of the products i'm gonna use are gonna be products that I have used on my channel before and I'm gonna start with the face today I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. mint melt cooling face primer so this is said to be kind of like a dupe to the milk makeup hydro grip primer which is very very sticky and makes your makeup last a long time I actually really really love this packaging it's super hygienic because it's in a pump and I love this color as well mint is like one of my favorite colors Let's just pump some out. Oh, so it's like a green gel and it's actually very liquidy. Oh, it does smell like... It smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. It smells really good and it is very, very sticky feeling even on the hands. Yeah, that's definitely sticky. Have a little bit more. That was one pump before. And it does have a nice pump where you don't have to pump out an entire like pump i guess at once <laughs> like you can just like very slowly pump out a little bit if that's what you want so now that it's been on my face for a little bit i actually don't find it feels very sticky it feels just kind of hydrating and i was really expecting this to be like very very sticky feeling almost like glue just based on like other reviews that i've seen from this but it feels very nice on the skin. I didn't notice any kind of cooling effect at all. It does say once applied, wait 30 seconds before applying makeup. So it's definitely been like a minute now. And it does say to pat the product into the skin so that it really like gets in, I guess, on all your pores and all of that. But yeah, it feels very nice so far. We'll see how it works when I put the foundation on top. Just because of the little bit of like tackiness that I left behind, which is again, not that much. I would imagine that the foundation would stick to that pretty well. I'm going to use the ELF Flawless Setting Foundation today and I'm gonna mix two shades. This lighter one is in the shade Pearl. And the darker one is in the shade Cashew. I'll take about two parts of Pearl and one part of Cashew. I'm gonna dot this on my face. I'm blending this out using the Ecotools Flat Foundation Brush. 
Oh, now that I'm trying to blend this out, I can definitely feel that stickiness of the skin. So a sponge might actually work a little bit better because it's just a little bit difficult to buff this into the skin with it being like a little bit sticky. So I think I've only used this foundation on my channel once before and I really like it. It has a really nice coverage and a beautiful finish even though I have like drier skin or sometimes oily or sometimes dry skin but at the moment like very dry like dehydrated skin it seems to always work don't usually use foundation but if I'm doing like this kind of a full glam makeup look then I want to use foundation to get a fuller coverage and I've actually had a lot of redness on my face lately and I'm not really sure why but it's making me kind of want to wear foundation so We'll see, maybe I will get more into foundation. It definitely worked with the brush as well. I was just buffing a little bit, but mostly kind of like patting it in. And typically, even if I apply foundation, I don't apply it on my forehead, just because I have like fine lines there and foundation typically likes to like set into those lines. But I thought just for the sake of this video, see, maybe this primer can prevent that. And maybe the powder that I'm gonna use can prevent that. For the under eyes, I'm using L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in Porcelain and I'm just gonna apply a tiny dot in the inner corners and use my finger to blend it out. I like to apply concealer in the inner corner and then like on the outer corner mostly just because I have a lot of like discoloration in those areas and then just blend it out so that it fills in this area in the middle as well. I'm not sure if it's the primer, but my face looks very kind of like airbrushed. It looks very, very nice. Even the concealer went on like much nicer than typically. I feel like my face just looks very, very smooth. Um, anyway, I'll apply this e.l.f. Hydrating Comma Concealer now onto like any um, like my scars and like breakouts and whatever, and then a little bit around my mouth because I tend to get a little bit darkness there. I'll use my beauty blender to blend this out. Okay, now it's time to try this e.l.f. putty bronzer. I'm, I've just been waiting to buy this one. This one is in the shade Tan Lines and I've said this about the blushes before but I hate that they don't put the shade name in the actual bottle because no one's gonna keep this carton. Ah. Well, they have clearly learned that this one actually does say the shade name. <laughs> Maybe they got some feedback. My blush does not say what which shade it is. I have the Turks and Caicos shade, which is really pretty. Um, but yeah, this is the body bronzer in 10 lines. This was the lightest bronzer shade that they had. They had another light shade like this, but it was very gray and I would imagine that one would be good for contouring. I thought it looked a little bit too gray because I checked the swatches online and what I really needed was a bronzer. So that's why I got this one and the shade looks so beautiful and kind of like a golden type of color. It doesn't look too orange which I am so happy about. I will be using the Echo Tools flat foundation brush to blend this out because I really like this for the blush and I would imagine that this is a similar texture or same and I just can't get over how glossy it looks I'll see if this is a different kind of texture than the blush because the blush is like fully matte oh it definitely has like a layer of oil on top you have to mix it a little bit it's probably just the top layer or maybe this is a completely different texture because this is very oily blends absolutely beautifully though Oh no, this is a different texture than the blush. I'll put it a little bit on, my, on the back of my hand so I can feel the texture better. That's so much more creamy than the blush. My blush is like a lot harder to blend than this. Like a lot more oil than the blush. I'm very surprised, but this shade looks absolutely beautiful. I'll just use my finger then. Let me just... Blend this a little bit with my finger here. 
Oh yes, this, look how beautifully and easily that blended out. And it's not very, very obvious, it's very natural looking. I will also just pick up with the brush whatever is left on the back of my hand. And then I'll just blend this out. This blends so much nicer than the blush. I love this. The color, texture, blendability. That is pretty insane. Look how easily that blends. This is so pretty. Okay, definitely, definitely a new favorite product. Actually, whatever I have left on my brush from the bronzer, I'll just put on the sides of my nose. Kind of like very lightly contour my nose. So far, so good. Now I am super excited for these two products. These are the Flower Beauty Blush Balm Color Drops for Cheeks. So I got the shade Melon, which is a kind of corally type of bright shade, and Pinched, which I thought looked pretty neutral, and I thought this one was one of those liquid blushes that I love that works as both bronzer and blush. So I'm definitely gonna go with this today since I had that bronzer down, but I will swatch both of these for you guys. I actually haven't tried anything from Flower Beauty before, so it's a really pretty packaging. For some reason, I thought these were gonna be a little bit bigger. I've seen people use this online, I don't know why. I thought it'd be bigger, but these are supposed to be very pigmented, so I would imagine they do not stay pretty long time. Okay, here they are. Let's try the shade Pinched first. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's actually a lot more orange than I was expecting. Oh, also a very liquidy texture completely different from what I was expecting. That's a really pretty shade. I thought it was gonna be a cooler tone just from swatches I saw online and it looked like almost like a bronzer but this is definitely a blush. I'm gonna swatch the shade Melon next to it. Yeah, I definitely need a like the tiniest drop. That is like a neon coral color. That seems like it is very, very pigmented. So because this shade Pinched is also like not a bronzer shade, I'm gonna apply that first, like more closer to the hairline, and then this brighter shade to like the apples of the cheeks. So I'll just apply this with my finger. It kind of blends into my bronzer. I'm not sure if you can actually see on camera, but I can definitely see it in person that it's leaving kind of like a peach type of tint to the skin and I'm only applying very little because like I said I'm gonna apply that other color put a little bit on the bridge of the nose for some color now I'm gonna dip into this and this is very pigmented I would imagine for me this shade pinch might just be a little bit more wearable just because I am so fair I'm gonna blend this out with my beauty blender a little bit after I'm done applying it but I do love a blushy face. And if I go a little bit further from the lights, maybe you can see better. Very natural looking if you use only a little bit. I am really liking this. These are going to last absolutely forever because you saw how little I took. It was like the tiniest, tiniest drop on the back of my hand and it was definitely more than enough for my face. Very, very nice. Very impressed. For highlighter, I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Endless Glow in C3. Everything is applied very beautifully on top of that primer and I see no creasing at all under my eyes or on my forehead, which is pretty crazy. Mm, it has settled a little bit on the drier area here. I have some like fine lines right there. So let's try this Revolution Translucent Baking Powder now. I'm not gonna bake because I have dry skin, but I'm gonna use a brush and like lightly dust this on, at least under my eyes. A little bit on the, or a lot on the lid. This is the Echo Tools Controlled Setting Brush. Very nice for under the eyes or for highlighter. I also use this for highlighter pretty often. 
So I'll just tap off the excess to have as little on the brush as possible. And then just apply this under my eyes. And right here in this like triangle area and the sides of my nose. And I tend to crease in like this area as well, so I'll apply it there. It's definitely more matte, but like there is no added color, which is a good sign. It seems to be like a very, very finely milled, very nice silky texture. It definitely feels more finely milled than the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, which I also really like, but this one does seem more kind of velvety. I'll apply this on my forehead as well, because I just want to see what it looks like or if it will cling to any like dry patches or anything like that. Very, very nice. No complaints here. Mattified, but didn't add any color. Doesn't look cakey at all. Very thin texture, kind of silky feeling on the skin. And so far, so good. Everything looks very nice. You can see my skin here maybe a little bit better. It's not like it's just very airbrushed looking, um, which doesn't happen to me very often. Um, especially if I'm wearing foundation, it typically looks very cakey. But this is like, it looks very, very nice. I'm very surprised. And I have to kind of try the products with different products also to see, like if maybe I just happen to have a very good like product combination today. But I'll have to see how everything works and uh, how they work with my other products that I have. But this is looking very, very nice. Let's do the brows next. This is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil in Blonde. I'm gonna brush my brow hairs up, fill them in. I'm using a pretty light hand, but because I'm doing more like a full glam type of look, just want them to look a little bit more done than normally. This is the Bare M Take a Brow Clear Brow Gel. And now this product that I'm so excited to try. This is the Peaches and Cream New Eyeshadow Primer. Oh, a lot of it just kind of came out immediately after opening it. It's definitely going to waste because I'm gonna put it back in the tube, which is too bad. That's it right there. Yeah, that's not good. That's the only bad thing about this kind of packaging, but it does seem like it comes with a lot of product. This has 15 milliliters, so it should last a very long time. I'm looking at the color and I think I could even use this as a concealer if it has a nice amount of coverage. I did see a tip today on Instagram, I forgot whose account it was on, but it was like about using eyeshadow primer under your eyes before you put on your concealer and it helps keep the concealer in place longer and you know it makes the concealer not crease if you have like fine lines under your eyes and stuff. So I have to definitely try that someday, but oh, that's really too bad that that bunch of product came out. It's a little bit lighter than my foundation. I could go for a lighter shade, but they only have this one. I'm gonna use a shading brush, this is from Gosh, to apply this on the lid. Just gonna pick up the tiniest bit of this product and let's see. This is like my skin color. Um, I was definitely hoping it would be lighter, but it will do. Feels a little sticky. And I'll carve out my brow with this as well. Definitely a little bit goes a long way. That does look like a concealer. It covered all my veins. That looks nice. It feels a little bit sticky, but so thin. This feels so much nicer than my typical concealers that I use as a base on my lid. So I will have to see how eyeshadow goes on top, but this is a beautiful looking canvas. I am gonna see if I can find like a little travel jar or something and put this, the rest of this in that, because that is a lot of product. I'm gonna use, again, I used this last week, just a couple of shades from it, but um, this is the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in Brights. It has all these beautiful bright colors. And I wanted to use peach and like a lavender shade today 
and this one has both so i'm going to start with that light purple like lavender type of shade and i'm using a bh cosmetics shading brush and i'm just going to stamp this on the like inner half of the lid i feel like it looks brighter because i've used this shade before um in this new palette because in my previous video i mentioned that when i was using this palette that i had this palette a couple of years ago or not even a couple of years ago but like many many years ago and the formula is it seems like it's much more big pigmented this time around and but this still seems more pigmented than when i normally apply it it could definitely be the eyeshadow primer that went on very very smooth i didn't even have to tap off the excess going just a little bit over the crease so when i open my eyes you can still see this shade that blends really beautifully the primer doesn't feel too sticky on the lid so i definitely feel like i can blend this as easily actually easier than typically when i use a concealer it feels like it has set and it doesn't mix with the eyeshadow which is what i think happens typically when i use my concealers like it just has that like coverage and it blends in with the eyeshadow and it changes the color of the eyeshadow this one is very nice i will have to see obviously um how long it wears like if it will crease or something which is also why i'm applying this a little bit above the crease so i can see it later now i'm gonna pick up this lighter orange shade which is a little bit more peachy and i'll use the same brush i'll just use like the other clean side and that is going on the outer corner of the lid and crease And I'll kind of wing this out a little bit because I'm going to do a wing liner. All this time that I've been avoiding buying primers and eyeshadow primers because they're not exciting products for me. <laughs> They've gotten much better result if I just got them. This is an Echo Tools eye blurring brush. I'm going to pick up that purple shade that I use on the inner part of the lid and apply this on the lower lash line. So that's actually all for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna try this now. This is the e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner and we'll do a wing liner with this. Okay, it comes with the same kind of brush than the Precision Liquid Liner. This one is actually thinner and it looks tapered at the end, whereas the Precision Liquid Liner, which I don't know why it is called Precision Liquid Liner, there's nothing precise about it. It's not even tapered at the end. So this one already looks a little bit better. All right, looks like you can do like a thinner line with this oh that's not yeah i'm not sure if i like that it's more like a watercolor type of black and not like an intense pigmented black we'll try this the brush is actually very nice very nice and tapered okay it looks a little bit more pigmented on the eye than on the back of my hand i don't know if it could be because i still have a little bit left over from the blushes there definitely looks better on the eye and it looks like it dries pretty quickly as well yeah this is a million times better than the precision liquid liner that went on very very quickly and it is matte it could definitely have a little bit more pigment but yeah not bad at all i did not have high expectations for this but actually that looks pretty nice i would imagine it's similar to the precision liquid liner in that it comes up very easily with water this is not water resistant i think they might even have a water resistant version of this but yeah it's not bad i like the brush i'm going to tight line my eyes with the mark jacobs highliner in placker next i'm gonna curl my lashes I'll apply a little bit of this Essence Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara on both top and bottom lashes. And you can leave the eyes like this, but I really want to try this Ardell Texture Eyes 575 lashes because I've had these for a couple weeks and I just haven't tried them yet. So pretty. They kind of remind me of the Ardell Wispies. They have this clear lash band and they're really fluffy, but they look a little bit more like 3D than the <laughs> Wispies and longer. Let's see, I have to definitely cut some off at the outer corner. Yeah, very nice and fluttery. I'm gonna use the Eyelure 18 Hour Lash Glue 
uh, the clear version. You need such a thin layer of glue because this glue is actually really strong and you know they have the clear lash band so they're very light. Really really pretty. Really kind of natural looking actually like very wispy at the ends and like thin so you could definitely see whatever eyeshadow you have on the lid which is like really the type of lashes that I love even if I have like thicker lashes I like them to be kind of like more piecey so you can see from like between the lashes what's going on on the lid because there's no point in doing nice eyeshadow if you're just gonna cover it all with big lashes but these are super super pretty these might be my favorite lashes I've tried in a long long time they did send me another pair as well, which was also super pretty, but these are just so light looking, even though I have that thick liner, like they look very, very elegant. So I definitely, you know, definitely a new favorite pair of lashes as well. Now let's move on to these, all these lip liners that I got. So I have five lip liners from Beaches and Cream and also this NYX lip pencil in nude pink. I'm gonna swatch all of them for you guys first and then I will just kind of see what I like. I really hope that these are good because so far I have liked everything. Okay, so first the NYX lip pencil in nude pink. Very pretty. So I'm just gonna line my lips and color in the outer corners, which is what I normally do with all my lip liners, just so that you can see the color. But the rest of the lip is going to be my natural lip color. Well, this is very pretty. Definitely like an everyday color. Actually, it would be more peachy than pink in my opinion. And it would go really well with that peach eyeshadow that I put on the lid. Yeah, I'm definitely surprised that it's it, it's looking that warm. I was expecting it to be kind of like nude beige. So I definitely like nude beige still more because it's just more neutral. But... I'm definitely going to be using this one a lot too. And this one was, I think, four pounds. And this set from Peaches and Cream, Hold the Line, which has five different lip liners. This was on sale. I think it's normally $19.95 or $19.99. Um, and it was on sale for 15 which is three pounds each. So very affordable as well and just wait till you see this. How pretty. It's like a matte packaging. These are also sharpenable lip liners, nude lip liners for pretty much all skin tones. I'll just go in the order how it says on the back. So first the shade Borderline, which is a soft nude shade. So just first impressions because this is a formula I haven't tried before. It does feel very kind of creamy, goes on very easily um, the NYX lip pencils are definitely drier I normally like the drier formulas better because they typically last longer but I don't mind a creamy formula if it has a really good lasting power like let's say from the more expensive ones that I've tried Charlotte Tilbury lip liners are very very creamy but they will not budge like they will stay on the entire day this is neutral it's not too warm and it's really pretty and really goes well with my skin tone as well. Next shade is called Proline. It is a ginger biscuit shade. I would imagine this is a little bit more warm toned. Oh, actually next to the previous shade Borderline, this one is way more brown and definitely a warmer brown than the first one. The first one looks like it has a little bit of a mauve undertone, but this one is more like a true brown shade um, or a true light brown shade super pretty shade I would definitely use this it doesn't look like too warm on, on the lips again like it doesn't look orange it does look brown both of these so far seem like I could just put these all over the lips and wear them as lipstick as well next shade is called feline it's a pinky brown yeah, this is definitely a little bit more pink. It's actually very similar to that first shade, Borderline, but this one definitely has a little bit more pink and the first shade has a little bit more like mauve or brownish undertone compared to this one. This one actually seems like the lightest shade so far 
I, it could be just that pink undertone that it blends in a little bit better with my actual like lips lip shade but super pretty again a very wearable shade i would definitely use this next one is called punchline it's a cool toned coffee shade this one definitely seems like it might be a little bit darker the kind of sharpened end of it broke also in the previous shade feline the sharpened end broke so these two seem to be very soft it is definitely cool tone i really do like it it's like a darker version of nude truffle from nyx uh, maybe a little bit more brown this is definitely a darker lip shade for me very happy with that super pretty and this last one is called hotline it's a deep chocolate shade would imagine a really beautiful lip liner for dark to deep skin tones this one is also a very neutral looking shade it's not too warm it looks in my opinion pretty similar to punchline just a couple of shades darker or maybe a shade darker this is actually so pretty i didn't do the best job in swatching all of this on my lips with a nude lipstick i would definitely like use this this one definitely worth a try i do want to do a little smudging test here for the swatches so the best lip liner so far that i've tried that doesn't smudge at all is the charlotte tilbury lip liners nyx i do like quite a lot but it does smudge pretty easily so i want to see how this nyx compares to the peaches and cream ones because these are described as soft and creamy so i would imagine that these peaches and cream liners would smudge very easily so first the nyx one it's kind of like fading um, more than smudging. Yeah, actually it doesn't it didn't really smudge this way at all. It's just like fading. You can barely see it anymore. So I'll try with another finger and I'll here. Oh. Well they are definitely fading and smudging a little bit, but I am surprised that they didn't immediately after the first kind of swipe disappear or like completely so much so there you have it definitely soft and creamy but looks like they could have some lasting power as well so this is hotline the darkest shade i'm gonna take that off and put on borderline i will just pop this l'oreal rouge signature matte liquid lipstick in i empower in the middle and this is kind of a nude a little bit peach liquid lipstick one of my everyday colors and i'll just pop this in the very center because i love that lip liner shade so much so far everything looks very very nice i can see just a tiny bit of creasing in these fine lines on my forehead not in all of them just in very like a couple of maybe three different spots here but it's very minimal definitely way less than typically um, when I use a foundation, especially this kind of a thicker, um, more fuller coverage foundation. So that looks pretty nice. Mascara, that Essence Slash Princess one. Mm, not the biggest fan because it actually is already like flaking a little bit. I just use my powder brush to like get the flakes off my face. So... That one is not my favorite, even though I know a lot of people really like that one. So, primer. Don't know about the lasting power so far. Feels very nice and hydrating actually on the skin. Not like overly hydrating, but just like I have like dehydrated skin, so it felt very nice. Not cooling. I don't know why it says cooling face primer. Didn't notice any cooling. Smells so good if you like mint chocolate chip ice cream. That's what it smells like. Um, get a lot of product for eight pounds. Didn't need a lot for my whole face. Maybe two pumps and Really like the packaging foundation stuck to you very nicely. So so far so good powder very silky very thin finely milled Looked very nice didn't add any color to my skin. I know they have a lot of different shades for the peach one um, They have also orange. I know they have light banana and banana powder so far. I really love the texture of this very nice. These Flower Beauty liquid blushes look very nice. It might have worn off a little bit, so next time I will apply more. I think it's not as bright as when I first applied it, but very nice texture. 
looks like they're very pigmented i will have to see about the wear i will actually apply maybe a tiny bit more of the shade melon i'll see if these apply okay on top of powder i have heard that they do apply well so i just got the tiniest amount this is also like a really nice color for that eyeshadow so i'll just apply a little bit more looks like it's applying very beautifully on top of powder yeah i like that a little bit better so those are great elf put a bronzer really nice subtle i think um, very natural looking. I love the texture blended beautifully so beautifully and It just looks very very natural on the skin. So I really really like this We'll have to continue using it and see how I like it. The eye primer. I loved the Consistency of it. It sets so beautifully not too sticky very thin feeling but still had that coverage I should have went on really pigmented and has not faded yet. I had to see after a couple of hours how it looks but so far so good definitely hope that they're gonna make a couple different shades this one for like medium skin tones especially i think it'd be very nice and bright but there should be a warmer shade maybe like a little bit of a peachy shade for darker skin tones for me if i wanted my shadows to pop even more it definitely would need to be a couple of shades lighter really impressed with that the elf expert liquid liner pretty nice basic liner i feel like the brush and it does look pigmented and matte on the eyes went on very easily and dried very very fast so i'm not sure how long this would last before it dries out nice basic liner i have actually no complaints so far uh, nyx lip pencil in nude pink was hoping that this would be a little bit cooler or even more neutral it was a little peachier but very wearable like great everyday shade for a drugstore brand i think it lasts pretty nicely and i do really enjoy these so yeah nice add to my collection the peaches and cream hold the line very very impressed with these i will have to see how long it lasts on the lips but i love this color so much so this is the soft nude shade called borderline it might be one of those shades that might replace even my nyx nude beige because it is that nice absolutely love this and really great for makeup artists to add it to their kits as well affordable love the packaging beautiful neutral shades like neutral lip liners or neutral products in any makeup category are always hard to find in my opinion everything is typically pretty warm so very impressed with this i will definitely want to try more from peaches and cream in the future so very very happy with these and the Ardo texturize 575 lashes like i said super pretty very very wearable they add that extra you know something to the eyes that you might want if you want false lashes but still very very elegant looking almost like a sort of red carpet appropriate type of lash very fluttery if you see from the sides as well and just one of those like your lashes but better type of lash very lightweight it feels like absolutely nothing on the eyes because it's so it's just so like light and they have that thin lash band Ardell does these like lighter lashes so well i love them so much this is the end result it's very colorful but still wearable i actually really really love all of these products that i tried today which is i think very surprising because it was kind of a lot of product and i had high expectations for some of them but i think everything looked really really good so far and i'm very happy with how my makeup is looking at the moment so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe share this video with someone subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet i would really really appreciate it and i hope to see you here next time bye